we meet with the death anniversary of Ummul Mu'mineen, Sayyida Khadija Rudwanullahi alayha. This great woman who stood next to her husband Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi from the beginning of his message and to the end of her life. She never left Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And in the most difficult moment, she stayed loyal to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. She, saw, she stayed loyal to Islam and she gave everything she had in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We see this great love that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi had for his wife, as Sayyida Khadija radhwanullahi alayha. One of the wives of the Prophet once said to him, لَقَدْ أَبْدَلَكَ اللَّهِ بِخَيْرٍ مِّنَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced you or gave you a woman that is better than Khadija. Because the Prophet used to always mention Khadija. Even after her death, he used to mention her. So maybe out of the jealousy of a woman, she said to him, Allah gave you better than Khadija. The Prophet, he said, Allah didn't give me anyone that is better than Khadija. آمَنَتْ بِحِينَ كَفَرَ النَّاسِ She accepted my message when people rejected me. وَصَدَّقَتْنِي إِذْ كَذَّبَنِ النَّاسِ And she believed in me when people accused me of being a liar. وَوَاسَتْنِي بِمَا لَهَا إِذْ حَرَمَنِ النَّاسِ And she provided or she gave me everything she had when people refused to support. Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam was known to be from the rich uh, woman in Mecca, in Quraysh. When she got married to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, we find that the Prophet didn't restrict his wife from continuing to work and to run her business on her own. He didn't ask his wife to stay at home and uh, stop working. And he didn't ask his wife to transfer all her business and put it under his name. He kept, he kept her work and her business life uh, independent from him. And this shows the wisdom of Rasulullah and the humanity of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi in dealing with people and especially with his wife uh, back then. When he announced his, uh, his uh, message and the revelation came down, Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam was the first one to believe in him from the woman. And the first salat prayer that the Prophet performed, he led the salat and behind him stood Ummul Mu'mineen, as Sayyidah Khadija radhwanullah alayha, alayha, and Amirul Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Maybe this is one of the best prayers that, were, that was performed in the history of Islam, where the Imam is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and behind him Ummul Mu'mineen and Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi uh, People stopped talking to Sayyidah Khadija in Quraysh after the Prophet announced his message, trying to force or to put a, a social force on her to leave Rasulullah. So everyone stopped attending or coming to her house and she was left alone in the house of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. With that she stayed patient. And when Quraysh uh, decided to put the Muslims in lockdown in Shu'ab Abi Talib to lock them in, the, in, in a certain place and prevent people from uh, going to them or providing them with food or the basic necessities of life, Muslims had to eat grass in order to survive in Shu'ab Abi Talib. Quraysh tried to send special food to Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam. Maybe it was out of respect to her position, or maybe they were trying to create an internal problem inside the house of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi to make her uh, rebel against her husband. 
or they tried to show to create this problem between the house of the Prophet and the Muslims. So a Muslim can see that they are eating grass and Rasulullah in his house with his wife are eating meat, chicken and the best of food. Sayyidah Khadija, when they came with the food, she said to them, either you bring food to everyone or I'm not going to eat. And she refused to have any of the food. She stayed patient with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, to the last moment of her life. And due to the struggles that she went through, especially in Sha'ab Abi Talib, um, and refraining from food and uh, other things, she ended up dying uh, after they were released from the Sha'ab in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, the love of Rasulullah never stopped to Khadija. Every time he used to mention Khadija, he used to cry. And he used to give out food for, on behalf of the soul of Sayyidah Khadija. Even after that. When he used to meet with the, uh, with the friends of Sayyidah Khadija, he used to cry and remember this great lady.